definition of derivative for oscillating limits. Um, a lot of people wonder because we cover part of this in our uh, basically in, in during the lecture and then part of this does not uh, get covered during the lecture so you do in lab um, and so people look at any oscillating um, um, function and they think well this is oscillating too much so there is no derivative and in this case you can see that uh, this actually uh, works that way and, and if you have x sine of 1 over x you look at the uh, secant line and you see secant line oscillates too fast around point zero so the, uh, the derivative does not exist at point zero but are all the oscillating functions like that and it turns out the answer is no look at this one if it's x squared sine of 1 over x, um, then the, in, you, you see that the, it oscillates, but the oscillation is kind of damped. And so when uh, the secant line, uh, uh, when the two points of the secant line, the other point approaches uh, 0, 0, uh, you see that uh, actually the oscillation kind, kind of dampens. And so our question is, um, use the definition of derivative to basically show that at x equal to uh, zero and the limit definition exists and is equal to a certain value. Um, again, taking derivative of this function anywhere but at x equal to zero is just going to be a chain rule. Uh, that you learn in 3.7, in section 3.7. But uh, taking the derivative of a piecewise defined function at a cutoff point is always limit definition of the derivative.